Welcome back to Country Homestead. In this video, you'll see me and my brother-in-law Mike is laying out the footprint to the back half of the sawmill shed. When we built the front half, we built it 15 by 32. And now we're going to build the back half that we're going to use for our drying, our lumber. It's going to be 15 by 32. Now the tin overhangs on the front and the back one foot, so in total we have 32 by 32 of coverage. I cut this video in half because it got a little long, so uh, we got two parts of this video that shows where we, you know, got it, the back erected and got it tinned and, you know, got it burned and all that. Here you'll see that we uh, put some boards up on there. All we're doing is just screwing them in there. We get it kind of level, and it's going to hold that post up straight and level. We'll put two of them on there, and then we'll we'll put one going down as a kicker, you know, to keep it good and square so we can set our beams. And you can see here on the end of that post is where we got it, uh, we put a lot of that tar, old black tar on it, and then we wrapped it in a bag just to uh, keep it from coming off as we was filling in the hole. And now the bottom of the post we left open so, you know, the water would drain out the bottom of the grain of the, the wood. It's not going to hold it. in the seat in that court that in that middle center hole yeah the red wasps climb out of there yeah. oh boy i'm well, gonna come up in your backside be all right right there be screaming
we got us a new GoPro 10, and so uh, we've been practicing on, you know, different shots with it. And like right now, I got my headset on where I'm wearing it on my head. And uh, so far, I I like that GoPro. I mean, it, the battery life not real good on it, but other than that, I mean, the picture qualities are pretty good. Uh, I I like it. Here you can see the plates that we built to join the front beam to the back beam. It had a plate that went from the center post back to the beam on the left. You see that mark on the wood. You know, we took them off and added them new ones on that joins both of them together and it goes through the center post. And them plates are uh, 3 sixteenths of an inch. So, you know, there's plate on both sides. So it's not going nowhere. It's going to be there. And if you look underneath the beam, you'll see some uh, quarter inch angle iron that we bolted through to the uh, the post and the beams are sitting on it and it's all bolted together so she's pretty stout
and you can see here we made a T bracket out of that 3 16th plate and uh, them brackets are doubled so I, I made one that goes across I forgot exactly how long it was like 18 inches or 20 inches I don't know and then uh, I welded one underneath it and then I plated over both of them so it's doubled on both sides so you ain't got to worry about it having a weak spot on the weld because there's another plate over the weld and the weld's pretty good too but you know I don't think it you know I always try to overdo it when we do it you know you know take a little bit longer and just do it You can see my little helper there. I dropped my extension cord, so uh, she picked it up and gave it back to me. She's always a big hand. She loves to help. Here, I'm cutting my uh, master rafter, you know, the one that we're going to cut to make sure it's all the same, and then we'll check it, and then we'll use it for a pattern. And it, they all worked out real good. They was uh, pretty close. You can see here we uh, laid the pattern board on top of the other ones and marked them. My wife helped me 
lined them up and got them marked while she was burning and then she went ahead and got the the uh, jigsaw and finished making the cuts that way uh we can get them done you know we've been married now for you know 22 years and she pretty well knows what i need you know i didn't have to ask her to to start cutting them she just grabbed it and started doing it you know she knows what i need she's big help As you can tell, them grandbabies love staying out there. They play all day long. I tell you, they uh, they love it. You know, they uh, they don't stay in the house at all. The only when bad weather's around. Other than that, they're outside. Now you can see the rhythm that we got into, you know, I would uh, cut one of the boards while she was cutting on the other one, then I'd move it and get another one, and then, you know, uh, we work real good together, you know, it's it's nice when you got somebody that you can work with that knows, you know, she knows me just like I know her, so uh, it makes it a lot easier. Now, let me tell you something. All them 2x6s, they are true 2x6. And they're 16 foot 3 inches long. And they're green. And they're heavy. So, let me tell you, by the time I got to that last one there, I was pretty winded. It was a, That was a workout. But we wanted to make sure we got them all up. And, you know, at least got them in, in place that day. You can tell that sun's going down. So, we wanted to make sure we got them up there. 
we you'll see here in a second we got them up got them nailed down so uh you know we didn't have to worry about them trying to bow overnight or anything like that they was up and where they gonna be at we're gonna use the tractor here and get them picked up and it sure is a lot easier when you got somebody that can you know help you you know by running a tractor and then you know my wife should help pick up the boards and give them to me and uh you know it just makes it a lot nicer when you got somebody to give you a hand like that As you can see here, this is the next day, and me and my brother-in-law is squaring up the top, and uh, you know I nailed all the uh, ridge beam down the night before, and uh, you know now we're gonna square it up, and then we'll cut our dead wood and put in between the rafters and space them out, and then we'll start lathing it and burn it and put some tin on her. She's uh looking pretty good. It's gonna be a good spot to work, you know we we get done with her all and you know I just appreciate all the help you know everybody that helps out and you know they're, they're all good help and if you made it to the end of the video we'd appreciate it if you gave us a big old thumbs up and, you know go check out one of our other videos we got plenty of them out there and we'd like to have you as a subscriber you know if you ain't subscribed we'd appreciate it if you subscribe and hit that notification bell you know, we, we appreciate you. We'll see you on the next one. Have a good day.